Hey everybody. Uh, Jackie's having a hard time getting on. Um, so we're trying to figure that out. But in the meantime, if you're here, let me know you're here. Hmm. I'm trying to figure, is there an app for this? Maybe if I download it. Hold on. She's having trouble getting like her mic and camera access. And she's doing it from her phone. And that's, I don't know what the problem would be. So I've done it from my phone before, but let me get on YouTube and see what it's looking like. See if you can hear me. Let's see. If she can't get on, I might just have to wing it. but it's okay if I have to. If I have to, then I might can make it to where other people can um, come on video like my dad did this morning. I don't know if that would work or not. Okay. Okay, it's working fine with me. Hey, Ryan, how are you? Um, I don't know, like, it, let me see if she can send me a screenshot of um, what it's showing. In the meantime, um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with um, Jackie getting on here. Uh, what's everybody's week looking like? Having a good week? Did you have a good Valentine's Day? Let me know what's up. Um, we didn't do anything. We just chilled around the house. It's kind of hard for us to uh, do much on Valentine's because my oldest daughter Riley's birthday is the day before Valentine's Day. So we usually have a party the weekend before, or a couple days before, and we're usually like super tired. <laughs> so we don't usually do too much. I did get him some chocolate though. I'm going to have to steal some of it because I didn't get any chocolate, but it's okay. I'm not mad about it because I can steal his chocolate. Um, she's going to try to send me a screenshot of what it's saying. Oh, man, I knew I haven't seen any of your vi videos lately. Um, I'm sorry he's having health issues. I hope that I hope that it's something that can get better fairly easily. OK, it's. It's saying the browser has blocked her mic and camera, but she doesn't see any blocks. Hmm. Sorry. I'm telling her to, it says join without mic or camera. I'm not sure that I would be able to do anything. Hey, Krubby the Beagle. 
What's up? I'm trying to get um, Jackie on here with me, but she's having trouble getting on. So that's why I'm on my phone. We're trying to figure that out. Um, which I don't know. I told her to join without the mic and cam. I'm not sure there's going to be anything that I can do on my end, but let me see what this. No. Give her just a second. Um, Ryan, if, if that wasn't the right link that dad put up, let me know. And I'll put your link in the comments after the live. I can't do it um, while I'm doing the live. Only a moderator can do that. Uh, but if that's not the right link that he put up for you, let me know. And I will... She said it's like Verizon has a block on her phone. So I wonder, I wonder if she has. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, if that wasn't the right link, Ryan, I will, I'll post it in the comments after the video is over. I'm not really sure Jackie is going to be able to get on. Um, so I may do what my dad did in his live this morning and just post the link uh, in the comments. Uh, and anybody who wants to get on and talk to me can. I have a fun little game of this or that that we could quickly do. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. I can't do two things at once. Okay. Okay, I see that there's a few people on here. I was supposed to have a guest with me tonight, but she is having issues getting on. So I think what I'm going to do is put the link to this. Um, to this in the comments and if you want to come on here and chat just click that link and it should bring you up here if you have like mic and camera access on the device that you're using um but i put that link up Her phone is just not cooperating and I apologize. Anyway, if anybody wants to hop on, I just put the link in the comments. And I think Jackie is going to come in the chat. Hey. Well, if I'm still on here when you're done um, nursing, Hunter, Katie, pop on and we can chat. Uh I do, like I said earlier, I have a little this or that game that might would be fun. Thank you, Katie. Um, like, okay, they will need to connect their mic. Jackie's trying to. Uh, 
Okay. I see you popping up here, Jackie, but it's like you said, it's not going to let me do anything on my end. It's something with your phone. Um, <laughs> we do not mind that your house is a wreck, Ryan. Uh, anyway, does anybody have any questions for me that I can answer uh, for you guys so we can do a little um, get to know me, I guess? Uh, if you don't have any questions, I guess I could look some up on my phone and just answer some random questions for you guys. Uh, but I need a little bit of feedback. So what do you want me to do? Somebody want to hop on? <laughs> uh, should I just look up some questions to answer about myself? Should I just end it? Or what do you guys want me to do? Okay, uh, Katie asks, what made me start doing these lives? Um, I started doing these lives on Tuesday nights because my dad is in a community, it with like a homestead community with his YouTube channel, and he does a live once a week as well, and he has grown a lot from these lives. Hold on, what is that? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, he's grown a lot from that, and he's also met a lot of really cool people. And I thought that was awesome, and I wanted in on it. I thought that it would be a really fun thing to get to know other YouTubers that are in my niche, or even if they're not in my niche. Um, I thought it would be a fun way to get to know people and a fun way for other people to get to know other YouTubers in their niche. Um, but yeah, I love it. And yeah, Katie is going to be on here next week. Um, so we'll, we'll have to reschedule Jackie um, because I really want you guys to meet her. I'm sad that she couldn't come on. We'll reschedule for Jackie. Um, but make sure that you're here next week for Katie because that's going to be a good one too. Um, here's another question. How do I manage my house without losing my crap? Um, I don't. My house is a mess all the time. And if it looks like it's not a mess, it's because you're seeing what I want you to see. Um, I'm just hiding the mess from you guys. <laughs> My house is always a disaster. I have toddlers, so it's always a disaster. So I don't manage it, Ryan. Uh, yes, I drink way too much coffee. Way too much coffee. Um, but I'm not going to stop either. I don't, I'm not sorry about that. Okay. Jackie is amazing. You will meet her eventually. Uh, and I started YouTube because when I was pregnant with Riley, it was my first pregnancy. And um, I wanted to know what I was getting myself into. So I started looking up videos about pregnancy. And I found Erin Williams. I don't know if you know who she is. But uh, she's a pretty big YouTuber, and she was pregnant with her first baby at the same time that I was. And it was really fun for me to just kind of go through the journey with her. And then after I had Riley, I had really bad uh, postpartum anxiety. And one of the things that helped me calm down was watching other people clean. I don't know why, but it calmed me. Uh, and I enjoyed it. So after a couple of years of that, um, I had another baby. I had Weston. And I was feeling super lonely, I guess. As a stay-at-home mom, it's easy to feel that way. It's easy to feel like you're losing yourself. And uh, I, wanted, I wanted to meet people. I wanted to find my people. And I did pretty quickly after I started a YouTube channel, I didn't think that, um, 
it would go anywhere. I made a little video just for fun, just to see if I could even do it. And I was able to do it, which shocked me. So I just kept making them. And then eventually I started getting a few subscribers. And then I met some people that are now really close friends. And it's just been, it's been great. That's why I started. I wanted to find my people. Uh, I'm going to get my dad on here because he's waiting. And I can still answer questions while he's here. Hey, dad. Hey. Um, I just wanted... I had time up here and he was moving and I was going to show you what I was doing while I was having a hard time getting everything situated. Um, hold on just a, let me go get over here to, uh, let me mute this. Okay, All I right. think he muted himself, but um, I, I did. I was trying to go. Yeah, back life with Blenda and Chuck is my dad and my mom. Uh, my Maybe dad that. does most of the YouTube channel over there, but um, my mom pops in here and there. Let me show you something. Okay. Say hey. I'm working. What do I fear I the most? Um, <laughs> Jackie is in my private chat sending some questions that I can um, answer for you guys. Dad, uh, let me get on my phone see and see what it's looking like because you disappeared. And I don't know if it's on my end or I disappeared. End, so let me get on here and see what it's looking like for you guys. Can y'all, can everybody hear me? Can everybody? Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Can ever, can anybody see me? Um, I exited out on my phone. Can anybody see me now? Hello. Somebody tell me. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Um, let me see. Okay. Jackie asks, what's one thing that most people don't know about me? Um, hmm. That's a good question. I played soccer and I wasn't good at it at all. I don't guess I've ever said that on my YouTube channel. I also played softball for like one, um, one season. Wasn't good at that either. Uh, and I was probably the slowest one on the team. And uh, my coach thought that I was like really fast. And my dad thought that was hilarious because my dad knew that I was super slow. Um. Hey, Bransky Pants. I guess I'm saying that right. <laughs> hey, uh, comment your name uh, so that I can call you by your name. Um, 
Okay, uh, you can try, Ryan. Um, you'll just have to, like, it'll have to be on your end that you say don't allow camera access. I'm not sure if it would just let you do the mic or not, but you can try. Uh, my guilty pleasure. What is my guilty pleasure? You know, it's pretty typical, but chocolate. Um, oh, no. Steak. Steak is my guilty pleasure. Um, it's rare that I have it, and it's delicious. And I could make myself sick off of it. Also, being lazy. I like to be lazy, and uh, I don't get to do that very often. So that's definitely a guilty pleasure is sitting around doing nothing. Uh, I put the link in the comments earlier on. I think I can put it again. Just a second. Let me see if I can figure it out um, because I'm doing this from my phone. And it's a little bit different. Okay. How do I comment? Hmm. Why can't I comment? Oh, here we go. All right. I'm sending the link to the chat. Uh, you played softball three seasons and did cartwheels and backwalks over in right field. <laughs> I could never do a cartwheel. I was not a uh, athletically inclined child. Uh, I wanted to be, but it just, it just, it didn't work. <laughs> um. Jackie had asked like a whole bunch of questions, but when I moved to my phone, it disappeared. So I know one of the questions she asked was, what is something that I fear? And that would be water. Like I could throw a football to be fair. I could throw a football pretty good. Uh, I, I think it's called thassalophobia or something, but the ocean absolutely terrifies me. Like that would be my biggest fear, I think. Um, absolutely terrifies me. If I go to the beach, I don't even get in the water. And if I do, I'm not going more than knee deep. Hey, tiny Tim Posey. You want me to call you Tim? Um, okay. I see you, Jackie. I did have a black belt in annoying my siblings, but to be fair, they had black belts in that very same thing. In fact, I would argue more so, but that's just me personally, not my cup of tea. I did like to um, argue with Faith, though. I did not get along. Me and Faith didn't get along too well growing up. Me and Hayden were like best friends, but we also fought like cats and dogs. <gasps> Jackie! Hi! Sorry, I Hi. Work. You figured it out! I'm so happy. I was so sad for a second. <laughs> I It took a lot of like random back things. I really apologize. That is okay. I understand completely. I'm just glad you're here now. Me too. So I'm going to start asking questions because it's your turn to answer some questions. Yay. Uh, and actually, first thing we're going to do is this or that. It's going to be really fast. I'm going to give you two options. You tell me which one you prefer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, deep sea or outer space? Deep sea. The Beach Boys or the Beatles? Beatles. Same. Uh, Hogwarts or Middle Earth? Hogwarts. I knew that one. <laughs> Salt, <laughs> salty or sweet? Salty. Same. Coffee or tea? Tea. 
Uh, cats or dogs? That's the hard no. one. <laughs> Can I choose? <laughs> Don't want to hurt any of your fur baby's feelings. I understand. Yeah, they're all around me. They'll hear. <laughs> I I prefer dogs. Just don't tell your cats. Um, <laughs> day or night? Night. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. I'd rather not have either. Really? Extra carbs. You don't like extra carbs? Sometimes. But if I'm going to have it, I want like a pile of corn chips with nachos or like tacos. Or... I'll give you that. I love some yeah. nachos. I would choose pancakes, though. I like oh. pancakes. And as far as breakfast, I'd rather go biscuits and gravy. Can I give that answer? Oh, yes, you can. That's a good one. I still need to tell you how to make tomato gravy. because it'll Yes, change you your do. Life. I had never heard of that before. It will change your life. It's delicious. <laughs> Rain or snow? Rain. Hot or cold? Cold. I'd rather have cold than hot. I can add more layers. Well, see, I'd rather it be hot outside, but cold inside. Does I don't have air sense? conditioning. So if it's hot outside, my house is actually like a microwave. And I have like 60 fans going. And um, I literally stand in the freezer. <laughs> well, I think you're excused. Then I mean that that makes complete sense that you would prefer cold. I probably would too in that situation. Okay, train or plane? I've never been on a train, so I guess I'd say plane. I've never been on a well. Does the train up to Pikes Peak count? Probably not. That probably doesn't count. It's not I did go on an old-fashioned train once to the Grand Canyon, but I don't feel like that's what they mean. You can't travel anywhere, really. They have been. My mom's traveled by. My mom's traveled by train, like all the way to Michigan. Oh wow! Like actually traveled by train. I, I have know. a dear friend Jody that has. She did a really cool-looking train ride. Arizona doesn't have a lot of that, though. Um, you know, we don't either. In Mississippi, I feel she like that's a like Eastern thing. <laughs> Maybe so. I mean, I don't, I don't think. I mean, we have trains in Mississippi, but they're usually hauling things that aren't people. That yeah, our trains you see giant cargo things on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just a couple more. Beach or mountains? Sorry. Which one? What? Beach or mountains? Mountains. Agreed. Would you rather cook or clean up after? Cook. 100%. <laughs> Hamburger or hot dog? Is it a good hot dog? Because then I'll go that way. <laughs> I'm really you know, weird. I've about never hamburgers. had a hot dog that's better than a hamburger, but I probably just haven't been going to the right places. There are some really good hot dogs. Like there are these um, Gruyere and garlic like sausages that they have at the store. And they're one of my favorites. Um, that does sound good. I do like uh, sausage dogs. See, well, yeah. So that's a sausage dog. I'm, I'm really weird about hamburgers. And so it's easier for me to enjoy a hot dog than it would be for me to just take a random person's hamburger. I don't like pink meat. Like, oh, oh, yeah. It would have to be cooked through. Yeah, I'm, I'm a well-done girl, and, like, I've gone to restaurants before, and I think they're like, no, 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 you're not. You just haven't had it right. And I'm like, you killed my food. It's pink. <laughs> and, and I like them thin. Like, I, I find beef slightly overwhelming. Really? So. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not I... a big steak eater. Oh. Like, it's well. a special thing if we eat steak. Or it's a um, Mexican-induced steak, like green chili, um, barbacoa, carne asada. Things like that. Gotcha. I, I I would definitely prefer a hamburger, though. We have this place here uh, called R House, like the letter R House, and they were voted like the best hamburger in Mississippi. Ah. So good. And they also do the homemade fries where like they cut the fries themselves and then batter them and fry them. And they're so good. I can't have it anymore because gluten free. But when I could have them, oh, it was so good. 
It was so good. I miss it. <laughs> okay. Friends or Seinfeld? The show. Um, neither. Neither. I would yeah. say Friends. My dad would say Seinfeld. Uh, Steve Urkel. Blah, 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 I can't even say it. Steve Urkel or Kimmy Gibbler? Kimmy Gibbler's the girl off. Yeah, the, the loud, squeaky one. I'd, I guess I'd have to say Urkel because he goes into that one like little time machine. He comes out all cool and slick. So he has potential, but yeah. Kimmy will always be annoying. She will. And <laughs> uh, honestly, Steve Urkel's kind of hilarious. Yeah. I haven't if seen any of those. Either. The new Full House, I haven't seen any of those, though. So Kimmy could be like an amazing like scholar at this point. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen any of those either. Uh, chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Water or milk? Water. A weird one. Uh, breakfast or dinner? Probably dinner. Same. Comedy or drama? Comedy. And Halloween or Fourth of July? Halloween. <laughs> I knew that. Girl, I've already got plans for next year. I saw some stuff on Pinterest, and it is like, I saw it, and it was like, challenge accepted. I'm going to turn my bathroom into Davy Jones' locker. What? I found all these where you can put LED lights on the ceiling, and then you add the fluff over top, so it looks like all these, like, rainbow clouds changing with all these, like, chains hanging and dead mermaids. I was like, this is happening. It's going to that sound that sounds right up your alley. Dad says July fourth. That's him and my mom's anniversary. Oh, so mine's July third. He has to say that. <laughs> but honestly, he probably likes that anyway over Halloween. Halloween's not really his thing. All right. So what is something you'd be happy to do every day for the rest of your life? Hang out with my peeps. Just be with my family. I'd be good with that. That's a sweet answer. <laughs> I'd sleep. <laughs> my husband is constantly giving me crap. He's a sleep technologist and he's like, Jackie, you need sleep. Like, you do. And I know I do, but you know what? I've got like this much time. I saw that reel on um, on Instagram and it said, like, I figured out how to do this whole thing. Like, you know, I can get all the shopping and the cooking and the cleaning and everything. Then you just get to get rid of the sleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only problem sleep with is, that is that eventually you would die. I or do have a very crazy. cozy bed. When I go to bed, I enjoy it. My blanket feels like a cloud. <laughs> See, Brandy is on the same page as me. She said she'd sleep, too put that up there I gotta remember to put comments up there um what is your favorite outfit like doesn't have to be a specific thing pajamas like and my flowy robe that makes me feel like a princess when I walk through the house <laughs> you know I can't wear a robe like they aggravate me to death because they I can't like keep it together like it always comes untied and it aggravates the dog out of me Oh, girl, you just got to rock it open, and then you just wear it like a cape. It just flows behind you. Actually, ironically, my daughter told me, um, and I, I feel like she had to have seen this from mine. She wants a new robe for the summer, and she's like, but I want it where it flows behind you like a cape. I was like, I got this. Well, you see, if I did that, it would catch on stuff and pull me back, and I'd fall because that's just who I am. I'm the person whose sweatpants catch on the cabinet pulls. And it, I'm not even walking right beside him. It feels like I'm a foot away and it still is going to catch on a cabinet pool. My stuff doesn't catch on this, like the stuff around me. I just run into it. Like it's a giant constant game of ping pong, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> we used to have a very narrow hallway when I was younger and I used to, my dad would tease that he could tell when we all had a little bit too much beer because we would ping pong from one side to the <laughs> other down the narrow hallway. That, you know, that'd be really funny to see. It probably was. Um, that would be funny. And yes, I am Supergirl. Well, I'm super me. 
Like, well, I'm just joking. Your dad asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> you are though. I feel like you're always doing something. You're, I mean, you say you're not very productive, but you're very productive. You never stop, ever. It, it's because I never catch up. <laughs> it's well, not because, like, I, I don't just, think there's a single person on this planet that is caught up. Yeah, like I have another video coming out tomorrow. We're doing a cookbook collaboration and I'm doing cooking with Snoop. I was supposed to cook with Snoop this weekend and then my daughter got COVID. And so I'm cooking with Snoop all by myself and I'm just going to eat all the food myself tonight. Because like everybody else is like hopes quarantined and my husband's at work. I'm like, okay, I will have billionaires bacon and OG omelet and dirty South gumbo. I'll eat it all. Ooh, but the yeah, dirty like South I gumbo. See- I bet that's good. You've made that on your channel before, haven't you? Or you have? I have. See, so like I was going to do a couple recipes from the book and then I looked in the fridge and I already had everything in my cupboard to make that. So I was like, what the hell? (laughs) No going to the store. I can have something spicy and delightful. Well, I actually filmed mine tonight, and I haven't edited it yet, so tomorrow I'm going to be catching up. You are so on top of it more than I am. You you set yourself a schedule, and you are able to complete that schedule. I do not have that. Like, I try. And then you see me at, like, 7.30 in the morning. I'm like, I'm still editing. (laughs) (laughs) You're a perfectionist, though. Your editing skills are top-notch. Well, thank you. I'm just like slap it together. And if it turns out okay, it turns out okay. If my editing's under two hours, I feel like I've really been successful in life. <laughs> and I pre pick out the music. Like before I begin, I, I don't. This that is why I never. so long. Catch, this way I never catch up. It doesn't oh. help that my cat climbs in my lap and wants attention too. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, I usually end up with a kid in my lap if I'm doing it while they're awake. I try to do it during nap time, but it doesn't always work out. Uh, girl, you're a superwoman. You give me too much credit. No, yes, I've known you do. long enough. <laughs> you can't hide your soul from me. And, yeah, Brandy, I feel you. I've dropped the ball constantly. Like, um, I've always wanted to do a reel where I take the song from Willy Wonka and just express my inner spirit where I'm just like, in a world of pure procrastination. <laughs> you know, like, I really feel like this, it's my dream. And so just do a total reel where I'm whirling around the house being like, pure procrastination is me. Like, it's relatable. And it would be really entertaining. It's honest. okay moving on um what is something you're really good at i think of myself as the true gemini i am the jack of all trades and the master of none uh that is not true like you're a bomb cook you're really good at cooking well, thank you. You're really good at making your family feel special because you do those really cool family nights and you go all out for all the birthdays and all the things and you decorate for everything for your kids. Now You're that really she's 18, I don't think that she feels the love. She's like, why? <laughs> she I'm... will. She will when she looks back on it when she's 30, though. Right. She'll appreciate it then. Hey, Farah. Um, what would you buy if you won a million dollars? And it has to be something fun, nothing practical. No, but I know exactly what I would buy. I would buy myself a beautiful little manor in the Olympic National Forest far away from all of mankind, where I can still connect with everybody on YouTube, but I can hide from the rest of the world. And my dogs can't see anybody when they're walking down the street to bark and drive me nuts. (laughs) 
<laughs> I will say that does sound like yesterday we had a Valentine party, a homeschool Valentine party for the kids. And there was like 75 people crammed into this tiny little community center. Whew, it was hard. It was hard. Um, You're nicer than I am. I would have just turned around. My social anxiety has just skyrocketed. <laughs> I didn't last very long. Like uh, used to, I would have been okay, but not anymore. Like I was shaking by the time I got in the car and left. And then I didn't get anything done the rest of the day. Once you get in that mode, it's so hard to like, just snap out of it. Yep. Like we got home and I put both of my kids down for a nap and then I took a nap and then we just sat there and watched TV for the rest of the day. Super productive. <laughs> thought you weren't on my headphones I was like hey I'm not hearing this in the right spot sorry oh Ryan I'm sorry I didn't realize you were waiting to come on um give me just a minute and then I'll let you come on okay I didn't realize you were waiting I'm sorry um what would I do I just travel I don't think I'd buy anything I just travel and go everywhere I like the idea, like those people that buy those vans, like the big vans, and then like remodel them into a home and they just live wherever they go. Just meander around the globe. That sounds so fun. I have a friend who is just like that. She needs a Vargo, like one of those old gypsy wagons, and she would be so happy. I like my space. And actually now because of the pandemic, like, I think I'd like more space where I'm like, I would like to have my own hangout area so that I can play pool at home. <laughs> and, you know, no, I would still, I would still definitely have to have a home to go back to, but you know, just to like have a month or two just to drive and just see where I end up. Sounds pretty fun. I commend you. I, I know so many amazing ladies that can do this. I, when we go on vacation, I plan out like a year and a half in advance. And that's not really? even an exaggeration. Yes. Like I actually have a folder and I start on Pinterest and I decide all of the things that I'd like to see. And then I go on Airbnb and look at all the various places and how much they cost and where they're located versus where I want to go. I actually look up the grocery stores that I'm going to go to. And all of the fast see? food, every place, like the gas station, I have it all in like a little folder. Actually, when we went to the Olympic National Forest, I actually had like little sections for thank you cards for every place that we stayed already like there with the envelopes, um, as well as like all of my receipts. Everything was like in little different file folder things. So. And do you think you're not good at anything? I'm not saying I'm not good at anything. I can't tell you what I'm best Girl. at. Like. <laughs> I think that that counts as OCD more than anything. <laughs> well, I find it impressive. My husband and I get along amazing, but we do best when we know where we're going. Because when we don't know where we're going, then he was like, well, where do you want to go? And being the OCD planner that I am, I like then go into panic mode. I'm like, I don't know. And then nothing will please me. <laughs> and so he's like, what about here? I'm like, no. What about here? No. <laughs> and then I end up in a safe way buying a salad and going back to wherever we stayed, just kind of grumpy, just like, no. <laughs> it's just best for my temperament if everything is prior planned. Well, it's best for Nick's temperament too. So when we go on vacation together, it's usually not like to your extent planned out, but we have a pretty good idea of everything well, we're going to do. So My if he's parents, with me, I wouldn't be able to just, you know. Yeah, just to travel. Yeah. It would My have to be a girl's trip thing. Like, my mom is like that. Really? Yeah, we could just go. It would be fun. We'd be fine. My, my parents used to argue all the time when we would go on trips and they didn't know where they were going to. So I think that's a part of, the, like, the hyper, like, I will head back. Like, because there's nothing like being on an L.A. highway and nobody knows where they're going and everybody's panicked. And, like, I'm talking pre-Google. Like, now it's, like, getting to the left lane because there's going to be traffic. Like, back in the day, <laughs> I remember just getting lost and my parents being like, where are we? I don't know. <laughs> and I know. That would stress me out. That would be stressful. 
I've done that. Like where I'm so glad that I don't have to carry around a map anymore. I am not a cartographer. That is a skill I don't have. Like, My dad used to try to like tell me, like before I had a phone that had GPS on it, you know, he would like, which I'm pretty good with directions. Uh, but he would try to show me on a map. Mm -mm. <laughs> He'd have to like write down like the names of the roads, you go this far on this road, and then you turn right by the barn with the cow in the pasture. You know, that's the kind of um, directions that I follow successfully. I cannot look at a map and figure I out. I can't where be I'm told to directions either, like turn north. Oh, no. I can't do that either. Nick does that. Nick knows that. I'm like, who knows that? Who? Nate knows it, too. It's so irritating. because like it's a guy thing. They just have an internal radar. They're like, this way is north. <laughs> Apparently. It's true, um, Bara. Like, maps are evil. <laughs> and, well, look, the other night we were at uh, Nick's parents' house, and his mom was saying something. Have you seen that really bright star? And it goes the one to the east. And I was like, um, what? Well, and then when you're looking at the sky, the one to the east, goodness gracious, that could be any of them. <laughs> Seriously, though. But I mean, I, I think it was like a planet. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it was a little bit big. Like you could tell. It was bigger but, to see. Yeah. It was, I don't know. He was just like, oh, the one to the east? I used to write, Brandy, I used to write my instructions off MapQuest too. And there were some times that I tried to take my kid to a Peter Piper pizza. And I ended up in a residential neighborhood. <laughs> what That's is a Peter Piper pizza? Huh? What is a Peter Piper Peter Piper You've pizza? You've never been to Peter Piper Pizza? Oh I've my never god. I've heard of it. It's a whip. <laughs> okay. So, have you heard of Chuck E. Cheese? Yes. It's like that, but better pizza. Okay. And less crawly things, more things you can get tickets from games. I really like Ski Ball. Well, and ski ball too. we didn't have like a lot of cash. Oh, sorry. I like air hockey. That's my favorite. We didn't have a lot of cash when my daughter was little. So you need, you're out of town and you need to go out to eat. Yeah. You could all go to like in and out and pay 25 bucks to get everybody. Or I could pay $20, get a large pizza, a whole bunch of tokens and let her be like, so, <laughs> you know, we always loved, we had a place, we have Chuck E. Cheese around here, but we had this place called Mr. Gaddy's pizza when we lived in Louisiana and it was like that. It didn't have any of like the, the crawly like toys that I'm scared to let my kids go in <laughs> these days. Like, I mean, I used to crawl through them, no problem. But the thought of my kids like crawling through them now is like, I don't know about that. No, but it had like all of the little games like that. And it was so much fun. We love that place. Um, what time is it? Okay. Seven. Okay, I don't like going I over. I'm I'm gonna try not to go over an hour, because with yeah. you, with you I could go, like. We like could chat forever. Time. We yeah, do, and I really don't think that people want to hear us for that long. Uh, <laughs> we might <laughs> we might go a few minutes over just because it took you a minute to get on here, um, and we missed like it, it was really sad to miss. 15 minutes without you. My Bye, bad. Ryan. I, I didn't get you on. I'm sorry. I got busy talking. I'll have you on and interview you soon. Message me on Instagram. Um, what's the next question? What is a goal for yourself that you have for this year? I, um, organizing? I'd like to have my house more organized, like my shed. I'd like to go through and analytically like put labels on everything and be like, here's every screwdriver, here's every 
Yeah. That I'd like to really see the shed. <laughs> that would be a really fun video. I will, we have all this stuff my dad, or that my um, husband inherited from my dad. Well, I guess I inherited it from my dad. But um, it's kind of old, and I'm like, I could take all the stickers off, spray paint this, rebuild this, and have, like, all the little drawers that people pay all the money for without, you know. I don't know. It would be fun so, to see. Yeah, I'd that like and see my what you come office. With. So I guess, yeah, my goal would say I want to have everything organized and so that at any moment, like, my house could, is, yeah. I'd like to achieve the dream. Gotcha. That's, that's me too, except not necessarily organizing, but, like, getting a good routine down pat. Like, I'm really bad at a routine. Like, I want to wake up in the morning like get myself ready, have coffee, get the kids ready, have breakfast, do school, like have this all lined out. And I never do. I never do. Like we just wing it throughout the day. And I would really like to have a routine because I feel like it would be a little bit less stressful. Right. But my problem is I can <laughs> my dad's um, babysitting my nephews. <laughs> Sorry, that distracted me. <laughs> My problem is I get a routine going and I get like pretty good with it. And then like we either go on a trip or somebody gets sick or just a curveball is thrown and it's just gone. And I have to start from scratch all over again. So I want to have a good routine down by the end of the year. I believe in you. You are Thank so you. on top of it. You can do that. <laughs> I believe in you. Seriously. You think you don't have a routine, but girl, I see your stories. Like, I know you've got a routine. You just don't see it because it's right in front I of you. I don't. I no. wish I could see myself through your eyes. You give me so much credit. Because you're bomb, girl. Well, thank you. You know what I do. You. Thank you. Okay. What is the best thing that you can think of about being a kid? About being a kid? Yeah, like looking back when you were a kid. No what's bills. The best thing, like, it, yeah. I like. I think. I mean, the bills is awesome, but I miss being like naive and not knowing all of the evil this <laughs> in this world. Just living my life, you know, not knowing about all of the horrible things. Through various experiences in my. Growing up, um, I feel like I maybe grew up really young, so that naiveness in some ways was gone really early, and in other ways, like you know, some naiveness left later. Does that mean I don't know? Like, well, I was yeah. like super naive for like a very long time. By the time I was 18 years old, I was pregnant, had my own place, we were paying our own bills, we were doing our own thing. I had moved out when I was 17. Um, like, so, yeah, there wasn't that much naive time, like, <laughs> as, uh, plus other things, you know, like, variously, like, going on, you know? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's kind of, that makes me kind of sad. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, it's okay. I'm, like, totally happy and totally good. I just was kind of one of those older soul type people, like, gotcha. by 18, it wasn't like I got forced into settling down. I was ready to settle down and have my yeah. own space and you know I wasn't <laughs> when I was 18 I mean let's just say I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad I changed I'm a different person now than what I was when I was 18 and I'm not mad about it I'd like to think that we've all grown from 18 I and definitely goodness. feel a little bit more responsible even despite I don't having think, I don't think I would never choose to go back though. Like and redo childhood. I do miss the naiveness, but Nick says all the time that he wishes he could go back and do childhood again. And I'm like I, I mean, I like being an adult more than I liked being a kid. I had a countdown clock constantly ticking where I was taking away the seconds and hours until I was an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Same. 
I hated school. Like I, I always hated school. I hated high school. I hated elementary school. I hated college. I just wanted all that to be over. And that was the main thing going through my head. Okay, moving on. What makes you happy when you're sad? Like what pulls you out? Dram of whiskey, really good whiskey. <laughs> Honest, sorry. If I'm sad, that's the best way to cheer me up. Bottle of Jameson Black Barrel, some tunes, tunes. maybe play some Talking Tom because I have I played relate. little. Tunes. I can relate to the music. I'm not. I'm not really a drinker, but I can relate to the music. Um, that can pull me out and chocolate chocolate always pulls me out I don't eat chocolate like I don't get the chocolate thing like straight up this is TMI warning if I'm eating sweets I'm gonna start my period <laughs> because there's no other reason that sweets enter my person <laughs> like or I did a video and I needed to make a sweet like it's not something that yeah, I, I don't understand the whole concept of, like, eating chocolate. Uh, it's good. <laughs> the, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, is it, what's the what thing that makes you have, is it dopamine? Mm -hmm. I think. Dopamine. It raises the dopamine levels for me. But it has to be, like, good chocolate. See, like and Stacey I think that sends okay. me chocolate from Scotland. Ooh. Whole another level of oh my goodness, oh the my cream. goodness, it's so good, it's so good. I, uh, hey Nick, thank you for stopping in. Appreciate. Is it. that your Nick? No. Okay. Different well, Nick. hi Nick. <laughs> my Nick is watching NCIS. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, uh, how would you, I mean, what would you title your autobiography? She bulldozed through and just did her thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's original. I, I, I don't really think that, um... That would be super deep. I'd like have to sit and contemplate. And I guess it would be questioning as to which part you I wanted to talk about in my autobiography. Chapters would have to have different names. The rest would just have to be my name and be like, she came, she left, she went. Or, you know, she came, she lived, she went. Mine would be Hot Mess Express. Oh, I love that. Or her buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> okay if you could have any superpower which one would you choose i want to be like samantha from bewitched i just want to snap my fingers and have my house clean or to change my outfit or to get my outfit without ever paying for it <laughs> and to Ooh. yeah yeah i've never um, actually seen bewitched i know that's going to blow, blow my mind <laughs> I just, I have never had a chance to watch it. We, my daughters even watched like every season and episode with me before. I've we also watched it. all of I Dream of Jeannie and the Munsters and I have issues. Gilmore Girls. I have seen that one. Yeah, my daughter one. and I have probably seen that like six times. Like it's good. The, yeah. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Um. I think I would choose invisibility. Ooh. I don't, I like, I'm too boisterous, I think, to try and be invisible. I could totally do it. Totally. I don't know how to be quiet. Um, and I really, I, with the, I did not go explicit there because my natural thing would not have been so sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know how to be quiet. Yeah, oh, probably not your thing then. I like I like to people watch. 
So, like, I'm happy sitting in a room and just eavesdropping on everybody's conversations. I mean, nobody would ever know. Like, I wouldn't be spreading the rumors around. But I would know. You're so cute. <laughs> it would be fun for me. I want to teleport. I want to, I want to snap my fingers and be in Rome and Bali and go to Ireland and Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, I know. We've totally got to do this someday. It's on the trip. Like Nate knows it's happening. Oh yeah. Nick does too. I've told him yeah. multiple times. So, you'll just have I'm to keep sure. reminding Nick that I will totally have one day that I'm in complete medieval garb. <laughs> just hey, to I did, hey, I got him uh what is it? Uh kilt. He has a kilt. Love it. Now I just got him like the stockings. The little high sock things. I don't know what they're called. Oh yeah, he likes it. He ha he keeps trying to figure out something that he can wear it to. He wanted to wear, I a used to wear the a t-shirt but... all the time. Like, no, but like it was kind of he used to wear utility kilts though. In all fairness, it's like the cargo pants of kilt. Well, that's what Nick has. It's a utility kilt. It's not like yeah. the traditional. Like a, yeah, Nick is not. Yet. He would want the tactical one. My dad for my wedding actually wore one of the ones that you have to lay on the ground and feet roll into the pool, like over. I think you showed me a picture of that. I did. Yeah, because we did the full that medieval. Really cool. So you had a really cool wedding. You did. It was pretty nifty. Uh, where would you? Huh? Nothing. What'd you say? Oh, you said it was nifty. Nifty. Where would you go in a time machine? I don't know. I mean, because I love period things, you'd think that I would go back, but I'd get burnt instantly. Um, so, <laughs> like, no, I'm really serious. Any time <laughs> period I'd like to see, they would burn me. Like... <laughs> Just my tattoos I mean, alone. They'd be like, what is on you? Wipe it off. <laughs> and poof, there goes Jackie. Yep. I've always known that was my fate if I ever go back in time. My dad used to tell me that. He's like, you love medieval time, but they'd burn you in five seconds. It's like, I know. See, I like, I like all that stuff too, but I like plumbing and electricity more. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the the what chamber pot thing. I mean, I can if camp. I were, it would be for like a day. Yeah. That's like, I can go camping, but chamber pot. Can't do it. Not my thing. I okay, like the well, size version. Okay. We probably need to end it. Sadly. I've appreciated hanging out with you and chatting with you, Charity. You're the bomb. It's fun. I'm glad oh. you came. We'll have to do it again because, I mean, there are millions of questions on the internet that I could find to ask you. Well, and I can ask you some questions, too. You know, that could come on in and take over your spot so that everybody can learn all these wonderful things about your magazine. So. Or I could teach you how to do this so that you could get the views on your channel. And you Touché. could invite me. That always works. Right? Yes. All right. Well, thank you everybody for coming and chatting. We appreciate you. And uh, I think I'm subscribed to everybody on here. I was going to say that I'd come subscribe if I didn't already know you, but I think I'm subscribed to everybody. I can't see the chat because I'm on my cell oh. phone. I can only see you oh. and what pops well, up. I'll, I'll text you the people that were there. Thank you. And you can go check them out. <laughs> and um, I'll post Jackie's channel in the comments. Dad posted it through the chat. Oh, thank you. I'll post Jackie's channel um, in the comments after we close the video down so that y'all can find her easily. All right. I hope you have a fantastic night. Thank you for coming. I hope that hope feels better. Me too, ASAP. homie. Fingers crossed. And hopefully it contains in her room. Yes. Don't want anybody else getting in. No. It's not fun. Yes.
definitely not fun. All right. Talk I'll to you later. Um, I, everything I end is awkward. But. Yeah. Endings are awkward. That's why. <laughs>